Forest, Lime Tree Bower, My Prison is a 1797 poem written by English poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and it is the subject of today's video. It's often regarded as a classic example of poetry in the Romantic era of literature. I've left a link in the description to where you can read the poem. I'm sure many of you rebels out there will choose not to read it, which is fine, but it's kind of essential to enjoying this video. And because I'm so nice, I'll give you a quick summary anyway. This Lime Tree Bower at My Prison is actually based on a real event that happened to author S.T. Coleridge. One day, Coleridge was just chillin' with his homies, best friend Charles Lamb, his other best friend and fellow poet William Wordsworth, and Wordsworth's sister, Dorothy. Earlier that morning, Coleridge, like, fell down the stairs or something, I don't know, and was left unable to walk for the rest of the day. The whole squad decided to head out into town for a few hours, Coleridge being unable to join them thanks to his injuries. Lamb and the Wordsworth siblings had left Coleridge sitting underneath a lime tree, where he proceeded to compose this poem. Coleridge quickly began to have an existential crisis, imagining what it would be like if his friends, whom he may never meet again, really had left him to literally die underneath this lime tree. Coleridge took in his surroundings and the beauty of the natural world around him when he finally saw his friends return. The many steepled tract magnificent of hilly fields and meadows and the sea, with some fair bark, perhaps, whose sails light up the slip of smooth, clear blue betwixt two isles of purple shadow. He thinks of the wonderful imagery he was, in fact, surrounded by while stuck underneath the lime tree. A delight comes sudden on my heart, and I am as glad as I myself were there. Nor in this bower, this little lime tree bower, have I not marked much that has soothed me. Pale beneath the blaze hung the transparent foliage, and I watched some sunny and broad leaf, and loved to see as the shadow of the leaf and stem above, dappling its sunshine. The poem ends with Coleridge addressing his best friend, Charles Lamb, to who the poem is dedicated to. For thee, my gentle-hearted Charles, to whom no sound is dissonant, which tells of life. What interests me about this lime tree bower in my prison is how the concept of movement functions throughout the poem. You have physical movement, or rather, the lack of physical movement, as well as imagined movement. What I mean by that is, of course, Coleridge is physically unable to move from his place underneath the lime tree, but he is still able to imagine himself moving through nature with Charles Lamb and the Wordsworth siblings. Additionally, you have the movement of the natural world. You have leaves that never tremble in the gale, yet still tremble, and how the sun slowly sinks behind the western ridge. Movement is still possible, despite the physical ability to do so. And eventually, the lime tree bower doesn't seem like much of a prison anymore. In many ways, our circumstances are a lot better than Coleridge's. He didn't have the endless wealth of entertainment and connectivity that we have today. People think not being able to see their friends is bad. Try not being able to walk and having no idea when your friends are coming back to help you. Don't get me wrong though, this whole thing does suck. Personally, I don't really mind this new way of life very much, as I rarely ever leave my house due to social anxiety and probably some unchecked form of agoraphobia. Anyways, to my point, we have Netflix, video, video games, a plethora of unread books on our shelves, and social media. Coleridge didn't have any of those luxuries. He just had nature, the natural world. It's become kind of a meme at this point, but lately there's been a lot of talk about how nature is healing because we're the virus. It sounds really cliche and stupid, but I do think there is some truth to that. This quarantine has forced people to experience movement how Coleridge did and to see nature the way he and so many other Romantic era authors viewed it. Nobody knows when, or I hate to say it, if our lives will return to the normal we once had. If there's anything you come out of this pandemic with, I hope it's some insights from Coleridge's work. We can all get through life without physical movement. Movement takes many forms. So maybe take a step outside into your backyard and sit under the bower of your favorite tree for a bit.
Music make you lose control. Music